Hey everybody, it's Nick Donald. Welcome to a gameplay of Prey. So I finally got it. Uh, I wanted, I wasn't gonna record it today. I'm not actually feeling well, so if I'm too quiet or my voice cracks it like that, I'm not feeling well. But I had to record this. I didn't want you guys to leave you guys uh, without this. So I'm moving Justice to Wednesday, and Prey will be Mondays. I was gonna have Prey be Sundays if you get it, but <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just do it for Monday because Sunday's still gonna be the random day games. I know I haven't started that yet. I've also been slacking in Legend of Zelda. Me and my wife haven't had time to record that, but it's whatever. Hopefully, we'll have it up by this weekend. So let's go ahead and start this. Probably gonna get make uh have me oh yeah do the uh actually let's go to options. Let's see. Yep, all dialogue. All right, that's all I wanted to do. All right, so uh, we didn't we played the demo, but we didn't beat the demo because uh, oh yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do normal. Of course, I would love nothing can save you. Oh my gosh! All right, I would love to do all that, but this is supposedly a long game, so we're just gonna do normal. If this is a good game or has multiple endings, I will go back through it on a uh, hard or nightmare. But uh, we'll just start with normal. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and of course be male. So we didn't beat the demo. Uh, actually, the uh, I, some of you told me that you wanted me just to do the first one and then get the game and play it. So that's exactly what we're doing here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it because oh, it might love no no. All right. So actually, I'm not gonna cut it. This game, I don't know how it's gonna start. If it's gonna uh, do its, you know, its. What am I trying to say? Uh, the demo th uh, part. Or not, or we're just gonna start all over. So actually, I am okay. Let's take a while. So I'll be right back, y'all. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March fifteenth. So it's gonna start like a demo. All right. So I, I am gonna put my face in this. I wasn't going to, but I remember this is a horror game place. So we'll go ahead and do this. All right. Fuck. So I wonder if it's gonna be different. It most likely will be. For those who haven't watched me play this demo, or haven't watched the demo at all, I'm not gonna say. I'm not. Oh. I'm not gonna say much. But hey, Morgan, wake up. Uh -huh. You're burning daylight. I sent a helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. His password. See you soon. Oh, listen. Really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Fucking great stand up. But uh, his password to his computer is fucking paradox, y'all. All right, hello Morgan. So glad you so glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, March fifteenth. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and read these because I didn't. I don't think I read them in the demo. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neural mod. Install the neural mod right away, as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just for follow instructions, I'll be in touch. Neural mod. Though. I don't... I always talk about how it's bad for us to see with technology. I don't think neural mods are bad, but they are at the same time. Because, honestly, there's a lot of good things that can come from neural mods. But, you... I, don't, I still don't think it's a good idea to be fucking with technology in that type of way. Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the show. Okay, so I read this one on the demo. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this part. I remember reading that one. I don't know if I read all of them, but I remember reading that one at least. First day on the job. All right. Fuck. Okay. Shit. If all my objectives are going to be on the left side, I'm actually have my face be on the right side of the screen. Just letting that go out. Just letting that be said. All right. Uh, hello. Morning, Mr. Hugh. Morning. Uh, what's this? Can I pick this up? Can I throw this at you? Not a good time. Okay. Uh, <whistles> we take this. Throw this shit down the fucking hall. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right. So this is gonna be just like the demo. Uh, like I said, I heard that this game is pretty lengthy, which I'm not complaining about because I actually want to get into this type of shit. Like I said, I want to play more mind fucking games like this one. Like this one will fuck your mind up. All right, let's look at the fucking sky and shit. Like, cause like I said, for those who've seen the demo, see me play this. It's like that the, the game Dashy plays for his channel called Mixed Reality. And everything is walls, but he doesn't like those walls like it goes on forever. I'm just saying that this could be our exact reality. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Okay. 
Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. 78 degrees, that's how fucking lovely. I thought that said LSD, it says ISO. Sphere di distribution, whatever that just fucking said. I'm telling you guys, man. Now let's look out to the left, we'll see what's out here. I'm probably gonna miss some shit. I'm trying to look at everything, y'all. Studios, production, who's? That's a nice view on the bay there. <laughs> yeah. You know, get y'all name out there in Arcane. Arcane. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna try not to scream, but I most likely will. My fucking throat hurts. Alright. So far, the graphics are okay. I'm just just talking now. The graphics are okay. I, I've seen I've seen better, but not say anything bad about the game. From what I've seen from the demo, this game is fucking amazing. So is this the rooftop we landed on? I don't really remember. Yeah, okay. That was I remember that logo. All right. In actuality, we're not even fucking moving. Right. Fuck. Fuck. Like I said, Archons. Here we are, Mr. You. Archons and Demiurges, y'all. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck Mind to you. Mind the glass on the way out. Oh, ha ha. Look up Archons and Demiurges, guys. Hello, Dr. Hugh. Hi. I actually watched the movie The Signal. It's really boring, but look at it for the deeper meaning. It's. Fucked up. I am a Sybil 495 science class operator. Okay. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live research. That's awesome. Don't worry. Nothing will be missed. Okay. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. Yo, I'm telling you, man. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos-1. The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. All our labs meet the minimum. <laughs> Strange. That's never happened before. I... I'll have to file a maintenance request. Please excuse me, Dr. Yu. I knew talking to her long enough would make something happen. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. What are you gonna keep it? Are you gonna keep it? Okay, it won't let me talk to it no more. It's fucking up. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Confirm? Yeah, that's right. I'm telling you, it's it's like the Matrix. Oh my goodness, look this shit up. It, it's really interesting. Because once you start to get into it more, you start to realize. It's like our reality. It's Morgan. like our life. Finally. Hi, Alex. Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. Thank you, I guess. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Uh, Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. All right, I guess. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. Oh. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. S Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Uh, okay. I feel like there's a lot of reassurance for no reason. I mean, of course there's a reason, Dr. but Yu. you know what I mean. Calm down, I just want to read this. Alright, the method dot psi, whatever. What I told you, you could turn into a math mission on a level of Einstein in under 10 minutes. I read this in a demo, I remember this. I say you're fully, that's the first thought that crosses my mind, but it was writers in the face of Alex's used conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of ne the neuromod. So I'm talking about neuromods can be really good. Like, if you wanted to, like, instead of learning, we could just, like, inject this shit. Like, basically, uh, we're well, not injected, but we could just mo modify our neurons. Like, uh, for instance, if we wanted to learn all about quantum physics, we could just get that shit and it'd be done in like thir like three seconds at the most and you would have all the knowledge on quantum physics like that that's really good but i but a lot of bad shit could come from this too and i think we shouldn't fuck with it i don't know I, i'd have to look more into neural modifications i think it's a cool thing but at the same time bad could come from anything though so it's not just neural mods all right 
Hi. Hi, uh, yeah. Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Hi, Dr. Looks Bellamy. Like we have some tests to run through today. That is true. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. What's y'all doing good? back there? Great. Let's begin. Okay. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. All right. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Why am I separated from y'all, like, from a glass? Like, y'all think I'm dangerous or some shit? All right. Come on, grab it. Uh. Uh. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. I wonder if this really has anything to do with the story. Like, is, are they really, like... Or are they just, like, a tutorial? I mean, I know it's a tutorial, but does it actually, like... Mean something? I don't know. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. I remember this part. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Lovely. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Give me a second. I want to stand this shit up. Okay, I already fucked up. I picked it up and it's falling and now I can't put it back down on its legs. I don't know how I'm going to fucking hide. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Well, I know I fucked up on the demo, so you know what? How, how do I crouch? Okay, hold on a second. You can't see me now. Hmm. Uh, yeah? Any synaptic register at all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Fuck you. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. I'm doing horrible. Open the fucking door, then. All right. What, what am I doing now? Can, can we start? All right. Here we go. For All this right. test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just just go for it. All right. Press the red button when you're ready. So over here, to jump that. All right, that's easy. My sensitivity is way too slow. That's the problem right now. All right. Fuck, man. It would have been faster. Can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you <laughs> double check? Speaker's still on. Neuromods. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Yeah. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. It's like... It's like we're actually biological robots. It's just like that. All right. Here we go. Uh, well, I can touch. Oh, that's so fucking cool. Oh. oh. Okay. Shit. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Fuck you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Aren't I already sitting? Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Okay. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press right. start on the screen when you're ready. Okay, you're planning on vacation, go somewhere familiar or new. I'm going to go new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Come on. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How do you make you feel? Uh, see, like, they don't give me the answers I want. Angry, no one has that right. Uh, afraid I don't know what will happen. I'm going to say angry. No one has that right. Ooh, but, that's heavy stuff. But I wouldn't really be angry, though. I wouldn't really care, so, I mean... A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tired to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tired to the tied to the second track. See, for me, I would, I wouldn't do anything because, uh, you know, if if people are on the tracks, they would die, and I don't want to kill the other person. But they already, uh, I'm gonna say do nothing. Not not because that's what I would do, but I'm saying like, I think in the demo it asked me to throw someone on. If I remember. If it was that case, I wouldn't do that. But, I, I don't know. Not your problem, right? Shut the fuck up. These questions are fucked up. A railway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform. Next one, okay, pushing him into trap would stop the train. Exactly. Do nothing. Almost done. Yeah, just finish the shit. A railway train is bearing down on five people. Tired train. You could stop the train, but you would die. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know.
Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, my coffee. It's empty. <laughs> oh, they mimic. They mimic. Oh, they mimic shit. But why am I? So do I, am I like connected to them in a certain type of way or something? I'm so confused. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got what? it. What in the fuck? Oh, this game. Oh, this game. So. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Well, shit. All right. Whew. Come on, get up. So the system is just running by itself? Is that what's happening? So come on, move. I'm right, so gonna put on the suit. So I guess it was just like the demo for the opening. Not that that's a bad thing, but if I'd have known that, I'd have played through this part so we didn't have, wouldn't have wasted so much time. So I know I know what to do. All right, bitch. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. I'm just carrying this body. All right. So I know what to do, and we're going to do this. For those who haven't seen the demo. I... That fucking blew my mind when I played this shit at first. Look at that, y'all. I'm telling you, watch Dashy play mixed reality. This could actually be our fucking reality. We just wouldn't know it, obviously. Watch the signal. It's just like this on the signal. All right, so let's look. Oh, utilities. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Refer to the test program for timing of audio events. No pigeon visuals have been displayed disabled due to a glitch in the rendering data. Alright, let's do the helicopter arrival. Oh, so it's audio events. What is a pigeon tell? Is that a wake up call? Hey Morgan, wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just wow. a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. If oh, you been listen, I uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Shut the fuck up so I can read this. If you've been on branches of our main of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in, in extra effort to hit our milestones, and that it, and any external risk are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. What the fuck? Dr. Bellamy. At this point, Morgan is also inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say, nothing of long-term damage. We're likely we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod install, installation and removal. Tell me again why we extended the test in de testing indefinitely. Okay, all I know this morning incident has left people shaking to prevent unnecessary panic. People, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. All right, I read that before. Fuck. All right. I'd like to get further than where, I, where we was on the demo, though. Alright. What the fuck was that? Was it... Is it me hitting this? I, I don't know what that is, y'all. I don't know the password. No password found. Uh, what's this note say? Password. There we go. ICOP0876. Does he automatically put it in? He does. Alright. 
I don't want to read all these though. Uh, you're not sure your password. I know about this morning. And bad install. These tests today were all negative. Do you install the correct neuromods? Touch base is great with grades and does it went wrong. Alright, so basically they're trying to figure out what the fuck happened to me because I failed those fucking tests horribly. Oh, okay. I, I thought the game fucked up. I was so fucking confused. Alright, shit. So, uh. And here's our fucking helicopter test. Well, simulation. What the fuck is going on? Okay. So, here I am in the... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm stuck as fuck, to be honest. What the fuck? I missed that before in the demo. I tried to find it. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. So, I can be basically picking up mimics. Fuck me. Alright. So we need to exit the lobby, I believe. What in the fuck right now? Alright, I think this is the way I went in the demo. I'm just trying to remember. Uh, I know this isn't the way. I'm trying to uh, see what else we got going on. I saw that shit. Is that a fucking mimic? Fuck! Uh! Uh! Oh shit! Oh shit. Oh shit. It really they're really gonna be like that? Uh I don't really care about this shit. Alright. Fuck. I saw that cut move, I knew it was gonna be a mimic. Fuck. I didn't know I wasn't paying attention to the demo. I didn't know they could turn into shit. But it makes sense. Why they're called mimics. Damn. It's like the movie Life too when they go inside your fucking uh, mouth. Oh hell no, man. Oh hell no. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. <laughs> Alright, like what the fuck? Alright. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's some health. Alright. Let's continue to move. Okay, there's multi. Yeah, play your way. There's multiple ways. I went through the exit in the last one. So on this one, we're going to go ahead and go through this shit. Come on, I think, there, I think there's mimics behind me. I need to move. What is all this shit? Okay, plastic. Okay, explosive canister. If I had done... Shit, I think they're coming. Alright, let's keep moving. Come on, hurry the fuck up and open. I must be losing my mind. What the fuck? What the fuck? That was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. That was not on the fucking demo. Alright, so I don't know how to repair that shit. Okay. Um. I'm lost for worse right now. It is like the demo, but there's a few things to change. I fucking remember this bitch. Alright. So let's go ahead and take this shit. Let's take all these canisters, because these motherfuckers are about to come night now. Oh, he got some shit on him. Glue. Oh, man, I already know about the glue candy. The, the fucking. Ooh, shotgun shells. Okay, that'll, work. that'll come in handy. Oh, no, no, no. Pull that shit back out. Morgan. There. In the foyer. Oh, Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Yeah, Not okay. It's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. Okay. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Fucking get out of there. Shit, alright. So I need to get to this neuromod right now. Anything you know is about to change, really. Alright, come on. Oh, I gotta break it. Hurry the fuck up, take it. Alright, Neuromods and Mod is a revolutionary trans star invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press blah blah blah. Alright, to open your shit. Come on. Oh, okay. Alright. 
hacking our physician, your knowledge of medical practice, increasing the effectiveness of medkit, or bypass level one security measures, and I think I want to do that. And then it goes to your neurons, because obviously that's your neurons. Your neurons make up who you are. All right, know thyself. Strength. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Nah, Fuck. Let's get you to the main lobby. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. What are the mimics? Is what is what my question would be to January. Though we know who January really is, but of course I won't say anything because uh, people might not know. My thing is. There's something in here. I can hear it already. Occupied. Fuck you. Fuck that, bitch. Back the fuck up. We okay, we're about to get the fuck out of here. We're about to get the fuck out of here. Alright. Pull out the fucking gun and let's bounce. I forgot how to use my fucking med kits. That's not how you do it. Uh where's my med kits at? Is this it? Space parts, blah blah blah. Med kit right here. Oh, no, I wanna use it. How do I use it? Oh, X. I used them both. I didn't mean to. But it wouldn't let me use it for some fucking odd reason. Let me get the fuck out of here because there's a fucking uh, mimic right behind me. Oh my gosh. I know. Yes. The fucking, uh... What's it called? The, the, the hints and tutorials come up so fucking late. I don't know why, though. Alright. Oh my gosh. You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? Yeah, I guess. So, uh, I apologize for the, I'm sorry, I'm looking for shit. I, I apologize for the, uh, for the first gameplay of this to be exactly the demo. I didn't know it was going to be like this. I would just did this myself. And we're in this fucking space. I'm telling you guys to watch the signal. Watch the fucking signal, guys. It's just like this. When he finally breaks the four walls and see what's really going on, you see he, he goes into space. Oh, shit. Okay. I guess that wasn't supposed to fucking happen. Careful. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Okay. Oh, take noodles. Uh, I'll just... Yeah, I'll just take them. I'm gonna eat them now. Banana peel. Am I even supposed to be taking all this stuff? Oh shit. Fuck that. That motherfucker got blasted. Run. Fucking run. I died at this part in the fucking demo. I'm not gonna die again. Hell no. Nah. Oh shit. I forgot that they could be shit. Alright. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Move. Oh, I'm out of stamina. This bitch is okay. He just jumped off the fucking banister. Uh, shit. Containment tournament. Oh, it's oh yeah, the turret. Fuck. Fuck it. Move, 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 move. Yeah, bitch, you thought. Yeah, bitch, you thought. All right, shit. Target lost. What do you mean? Oh, turn the uh, turn. I thought the mimics were talking. Please move the, move these remaining boxes to my new office near my div as soon as feasible. Okay. Fuck. Oh. Oh. You you did nothing. I did all of that. Uh, I don't know the password. I had to look at the fucking computers. Oh shit, alright. Is it gonna be in this one? Look, I'm just gonna be skimming through these. I need to find this password and I have no clue. Consciousness, the fire in the equations. The nature of that consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of the experience might in the life be explained in scientific terms? Bro. Does consciousness emerge from complex comp computations among brain neurons, or is it fundamental and irreducible property wave, wave it into the fabric of the universe? This is actually real shit, guys. Like, this is real shit that they put in games and make it seem like games. Like, I've been learning this shit recently. 
that's so fucking, I don't know if that's disturbing or cool, like, because most people wouldn't realize that. Uh, okay. The code to your office is 0451. Well, thank you for finally telling me, like, I'm sitting here trying to find this shit, okay? Zero. Oh wow, he zoomed in. Zero. Okay. Four. Five. What? I didn't know you could move it like that. All right. So this is where we stopped to the get uh the demo for the uh. Well, we stopped to the demo. The Sorry. Been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. All right. So you made it. Blah blah. I still don't know what happened. I put it behind me, but there's no reason we still can't be civil. You passed me into the hall today. You looked through me. If you're angry at me or something, I did. I something I did tell me, and we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have work together. Do not disturb. As requested, your terminal logs are sent. Are set to automatically. All right, blah blah blah. So how the fuck do I play the video again? And Kennedy second form, space together. I'm sorry, I'm gonna read these. I just don't feel well today. I need to in the gameplay, but I wanna get past where we got on the demo, so I do apologize guys. Don't don't worry about it. The plan to fabricate. Fabricates can be used to create weapons, ammo, and other useful. Okay. Get rid of these cuttings. So I'll take that. I don't know what that is. Spader parts. I have no clue what I'm doing, to be honest. Place items in bin. Alright. So, how do I get to the video files again? Okay, you found a weapon upgrade kit. These can be used to upgrade weapons. What the fuck is this? That's us. And two other old ass people. Okay. Let's throw that shit. Alright. So how the fuck do I start the the video? Watch me, okay. My bad, y'all. My bad. I, I it's been a while. Fuck. Okay. I, I, yeah, I must say, I believe it's this wall. All right, shit. So I'm gonna go a little bit further. Then I'm gonna end the game. But like I said, I'm not feeling well. I'm sorry it took me a while to get on this game. Expect it every Monday. Maybe I'll have like I'll do days where I put like injustice up and pray. So we have oh, another Morgan. day open. Tough day, right? Maybe. If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Oh, yeah. Now your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. Let me get closer. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. What the the question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Connection lost. All right. Of course that had to happen. All right, I know. Sorry, I found every one of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just damn it. It is out. Just sit tight, please. All right. So, if you know anything about the Demiurge, or if you want to, I can tell you real quick. Basically, Demiurge is like a form. Uh, is like the Gnostic version of Satan or whatever, and it basically created human. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. All right. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. So basically, the Nimiurge created man so that it could steal its light. In the light, they created something that was in the likeness of God. Now, I do not think that the Demiurge legitimately created man, but instead hijacked its reality. Where the fuck did it go? Okay, we gotta get the fuck out of here. It's hijacking, it hijacked man's reality. Combat basic advantage of your environment and tools. 
if you're intent to fight, disable enemies first, yeah. Okay. So, uh, I think it just basically hijacked our reality. And this game is a perfect uh, example of that. Now, how the fuck... I'll get to explain more of it. Like I said, I I'm like overheated because this fucking hot, this fucking light. I'm sweating balls. All right, so I I'll just do that, and hopefully next gameplay I won't be sick. 19, I don't see why 19, I would be. 1980 to 1990, 19, 1963. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos-1. What? 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. That's a big jump, 1985, 1980 to 2025. 2030, Talos-1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. What in fact? What the fuck was that? Oh, look. I actually should... Oh, fuck, there's... Oh, there's, there's just gonna be neuro mods every neuro mods are everywhere. Okay, this one was took was taken though. All right, so on a second, I'm about damn. I keep pressing the wrong button. Matter of fact, let me quick save real quick. All right, so let me see what actually is going on with these neuro mods. How did I do? That? Okay, here it is. Oh, there's multiple shit. Fuck. Combat focus, interstate combat focus for 10 seconds, which time slows around you. That sounds fucking great. Ooh, let's do stealth. Okay. Uh, I don't know how many more neuro mods I have. Oh, it told you how many neuro. Okay, I get it. Okay, so I don't have enough for all these. Now all of them is just one neuro mod. There's, I'm stupid. My bad, y'all. The combat focus. Combat focus enhances your overall abilities. When active, time slows around you and actions cost less stamina. At higher levels, your combat damage will also increase. Okay. Combat focus can be equipped from the favorites wheel. Okay. So I need to do all that type of shit. I probably should have been paying attention to the fucking, uh, to all that shit. But how to do that. But I just want to get through this. I have it all down for the next gameplay. But, uh, what the fuck is this? Lemon peel? I, I thought it was going to be a mimic, to be honest. So, I have no clue how the fuck I'm supposed to get up there, because, uh... Like, is there a way... Oh, I accidentally entered combat, uh, focus. Fuck. I wasted that. But, I don't know how I get into... Let's see, map. It doesn't tell me where I need to go, though. Oh, second. It. it did say something. Uh, objective. It doesn't give me it though. It's not giving it to me though. All right, so I have no clue how to get to this. Uh, how to get to this doctor dude's workshop or whatever. So I might just end the gameplay now because I don't know how to do it and I don't have much time left on this recording. And like I said, I'm not feeling well, so I think I am just gonna end it. I'm sorry that, uh, like I said, this is this first gameplay is just basically me playing the demo over again, just obviously different commentary. But I'm happy I got it now and we can play this shit and I can go explaining more of the Demi Urge Club. I'm waiting for a game to come out to actually explain that shit and this is exactly that. Uh, I've been thinking about doing another ARMS Global Test gameplay, which actually happens in, the, in like an hour. I don't know. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. This is how I feel about it. 
Tell me in the gameplay here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a really interesting game, and I can't wait to play more of this. Tell me in the gameplay here, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.